Now the climates and vegetation of this of East Asia. First thing I want to look at is the climates. Latitude and physical features dominate the climate. That's what creates and changes the climates more than anything. Latitudes and physical features. First type of climate region that I want to look at is your mid-latitude climates. And in the top left map, that's the ones with the pewter green, for lack of a better word, and the kind of tannish color that you see. Um, I'll put a square around them. That's your mid-latitudes. That's where they're located. Uh, mainly in the southeastern sectors of Eastern Asia, uh, in Taiwan and parts of China, Korea, and Japan. There is a humid subtropical climate with warm summers and heavy monsoon rains. In the northeastern sector, um, the, which is the northern parts of the Koreas and Japan, there's a cooler, humid, sub, uh, humid continental type of climate zone, and that's your tan-colored ones. Uh, they have cool summers and snowy winters. And in the same climate zone, you're going to have your natural forest vegetation, which is going to contain a lot of uh, deciduous type trees and bamboo. Uh, you're going to have a lot of bamboo located uh, in that region. And then we move on to the desert and steppe type of climate. And in your map, it shows it as the dry climate. You're mainly going to see this in Mongolia and in northern China. Moisture that might reach these areas are blocked by the rain shadow effect. These mountains are creating a rain shadow that normally rain would get to these areas, but because of it, the clouds, the moisture, are not able to get over the top of the mountains, and so you have a dry desert that's being formed because of it. One thing that's unique about these deserts is that they're not hot. The Gobi and Taklamakan Desert are actually cold and windy. Um, temperatures can vary uh, in the extremes. For example, they can range all the way from 100 degrees Fahrenheit to negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit. So it can get hot, but generally it's cold, and a lot of that has to do with the latitude zone that it's located in, kind of making it a little bit colder. Then you have your highland climate zones, which are brown, and that's in the southwestern portion of this zone, um, southwestern portion of China. The, high, the highland climate zone are, it's very cold. Um, vegetation varies depending on the elevation that you're located at. The higher up you go, the less vegetation you're going to have, uh, and you're going to have kind of some tropical type trees, tropical rainforest type trees at the bottom, and then uh, the further up you go, it's going to be much, much less. Probably not tropical rainforest type trees, but you're going to have the forest type of trees um, at the bottom, and then it's going to get less and less vegetation as you go. And higher. last but not least, we have a little bit of a tropical rainforest uh, climate zone. It's the southern island of Hanan off of China's southern coast. Year round, they have high temperatures, and it's very rainy in the summer monsoon, and you have a tropical forest type of climate. This region also has monsoons. The monsoon wind directions are a little bit different, but the definition of them are basically the same. In the winter months, the monsoon winds are coming from the northwest, from the highland regions, and they're very, very cold, as you can see on the left, and they're dry. In the summer months, they're coming from the southeast towards the northwest, um, as they're blowing across the water and they bring rain to this region and they are wet. Now they generally don't get as wet as the South Asian monsoons that we were talking about, but it's still moisture that's coming to this region and in the summer months it's when they have the wet seasons. And then ocean currents. The warm water Japan current, or as you see here, the Kiryoshio current, flows northward along the southern and southeastern coasts of the Japanese islands, and it adds moisture to the winter monsoons as it warms the land. So the Japanese area actually gets a little rain during the winter months because of this Kiryoshio current, which is coming from the south side of Japan. And you'll see this direction kind of change, and we'll talk about that direction change here in just a second. And then the cold Kuril 
current, or as we see here, the Oyashio current, flows southwest from the Bering Sea along the Pacific coasts of Japan's northernmost islands and brings harsh, cold winters to Hokkaido's east coast. The interaction of ocean and wind currents frequently give rise to violent storms called typhoons. Typhoons are especially prevalent in this area where this wind and, and ocean currents mix. And it forms things that look very similar to hurricanes because essentially they are hurricanes. They're just hurricanes in the Pacific. They're called typhoons in East Asia uh, as they blow across the coastal um, East Asia region. <laughs>